right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, the intro, smooth sailing, reverse parentheses. So what are we trying to do here? Well, uh, let me run my tests real quick. And uh, we have a string, and what we want to do is anything within two parentheses, we want to actually uh, reverse it. So you'll see here the B and the C have been there, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a little harder to see with this, but you guys get the idea. Wherever there's a parentheses, we want to reverse those values. <coughs> I um, This was one of the harder ones for me. I'm extremely bad at regular expressions, and uh, in all honesty, I, uh, I end up getting this off a of stack overflow. Not the entire solution, but the regular expression that I was looking for. So shout out to stack overflow. Um, I need to get better at it. It's one of my shortcomings as a developer. I just haven't had a chance in a professional environment where it's been required yet. But I'm sure it will be in the near future. All right, so we're gonna use recursion. You could also do this little while loop. Uh, we decided to go with recursion this time. So if you don't know what recursion is, it's essentially calling a function within a function, creating a semi-infinite loop that eventually ends. That's that's how it goes. Is If your logic is wrong in recursion, it will create an infinite loop. If your logic is right, It'll break and it'll return. So, what we did here was we created a. Let's create a function, our, our secondary function here. Uh, call it function reverse. Uh, reverse. Yeah, just reverse works. And it takes in its own string. Now, in here, we're going to be calling that function. And when that function finally returns a string that doesn't have parentheses in it, that's when our recursion ends. And we're going to say, look, if our current string that's getting passed in includes a opening bracket, opening parentheses, we need to we need to continue we need to continue running our logic. Now includes will check if it's true or false. So if that is the case, we just want to return reverse parentheses. And in here, we're going to call our reverse function that we wrote. Actually, let's name this something besides reverse because there's a a uh, array function called reverse. 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 Uh, reverse recur. We'll call it reverse recur. Um, I'm sure you guys could come up with better names. Reverse recur. <laughs> and we're going to call our recursion function. Our reverse of recur, and we're going to pass in that string because it still has an opening parentheses, meaning we still have more to do. Now, if it doesn't, we can go ahead and return s. Now, in fact, uh, now that I'm looking at this, we can actually just return s because it's going to hit this. There's no need for an else since they're both return statements. Cool. Now. The next thing that we can do that let's let's actually this is this is all we're doing in reverse parentheses. The bulk of the logic goes in here. So we have this regular expression here. And um, again I got this off stack overflow, shame on me, but uh this is the name of the game sometimes. Essentially what it does is it finds it's a regular expression to find an opening parentheses and a closing parentheses within your string. Now what we want to do from here is we want to call we want to find that substring. Uh, we're gonna create a variable and call and execute this regular expression, and then grab those letters in that word. That so it's gonna omit the parentheses, but it's gonna grab all the letters within it. That's what we're doing right now. We're getting the substring of it. So we're gonna call our regular expression. Say x. We're executing on what the s that's getting passed in the string that's getting passed in and then we want that word So that's what that one is right there now If you want to see We can go ahead and console log piece by piece so we can see it as we At the end because I, I think a lot of this Stuff may get uh, lost in translation. So we'll console log that and we'll come back after that All we have to do is take our substring remember it's a it's a string and we need to reverse it. We haven't actually reversed it yet, so we can just go ahead and set this equal to that. And uh, we have to, we're converting the string before we put it back, right? So, 
uh, substring dot uh, dot split, so we're turning it into an array. We are then reversing it, and then we are joining it back. All right, so that's our substring. And we can console log that right now, just so that everyone can see what's going on uh, once it all passes. And then finally, we have to actually add it back into the string and we use, we're going to use the recursive, uh, recur, excuse me, the regular expression. I have a cough drops because I'm sick, so I apologize guys if I'm a little bit off my game. But we're saying, look, go ahead and replace, and where are you placing? Right where that, where the regular expression is true and put in this substring. So we're basically saying, hey, get that, get that, that word, reverse it, and then, check our regular expression, which we know is true because otherwise we wouldn't be here, and replace the BC with CB. And after that, it just continues on. Let's go ahead and run our test. And you'll see here, as we continue, there is our BC. So right here, we have BC, CB. We'll put it back, bam, bam. Let's actually take these out. Okay, so you can see that we're grabbing that. and life is good. Submit our code. Now, this is this is one where I think you have to have a, a decent understanding of regular expressions and you could also do this in a while loop. When I was when I uh, when I was looking at it originally, I tried doing it with a while loop and then I came across a, a solution that was exactly what I was trying to do and I uh, I ended up going with after looking at their code, I couldn't get the recursive I <laughs> item out of my head. Um, Either one's probably fine. The recursive answer is probably a little bit more geeky, so people like that better, I would suppose. But either one should work. But um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and uh, I hope you found this helpful. I know I learned a lot of the couple of hours I spent on this doing a little bit of research about regular expressions. I'm still not very good at it, but as always, I'm trying to get better. If you have a better solution, and I've looked through quite a bit because I've now that I've solved this, I can look at the answers. And this is one that I, th I think uh, kind of kicked it up a notch for a lot of people, myself included. But uh, it is, I believe, the last one of the section. And that's typically how it goes. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to join our Facebook group, Discord channel, or support me on Patreon, all those links are in the description. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.